Right, let's do the basics. I will make some boxes here and we will name them as you want. So on this side, we have work day. And on this side, we have different system. Table system, you have, say, for example, recruiting system. Say you have different benefits providers. Right, like, for example, VSP. Yeah. OK. You know the system? Active Directory, very common in enterprises. I will say, let me put it in a very layman language. So Workday is a system, is an ERP, right? It's a cloud-based ERP, which provides you HCM capabilities, different modules of HCM, different modules of finance, and you can do whatever you want. But it is not a system which you can customize, right? So consider it like uh, a gated community, right? Where you, uh, your builder has provided you an apartment, right? So it's a three BHK apartment, right? You cannot modify the outside of the apartment, right? Whatever he has given you, that's the thing you will get. Inside whatever customization or whatever configuration you want to do, you can do it. You can put any partition, you can do your wardrobes, you can do any kind of woodwork, whatever you want, you can do it, right? So that is compare, if you compare it to the Workday world, that's called the functional part of Workday, where when you are implementing Workday, you decide how many, whether you want a 2 BHK or a 3 BHK. So in Workday, you decide how many modules you want to implement, right? Say you want Workday HCM, you want benefits, you want payroll, you want time tracking, you want performance, all those to be implemented. So that's your kind of rules, right? And if you want to implement finance, then there are different modules in finance, right? Like you have procurement, you have all your payables, receivables, and accounting, core accounting, and all that, right? So that's all your rooms, and however you want to configure them as per your organization need you configured, you just do that, like different pay groups, different types of employees, different leave types, different, you know, compensation plans, benefit plans, or if it in terms of suppliers, then configure the suppliers and all those. So that's the functional configuration and that's done. Now, when you have that new house, you have to connect it with the external system. Like for example, if it's a, uh, gas, right? The pipeline, electricity, you have to have that connection. You need to have water connection and all that. So that in terms of this one is, are the integrations. So when you have to integrate Workday with the different systems that, that are outside, like, so for example, you implemented Workday Core HR, uh, you implemented uh, time tracking, performance and all that. You didn't implement it payroll. That means payroll will be Another system, say a very common one is ADP. So that's a separate payroll system. You have different benefits provider, like in US you have VSP, wage work, and some Delta, Dental, UMR, and all those stuff, right? So those are common benefits provider. Say if the recruiting, you have a separate recruiting system. So that's a separate one. And then as part of your authentication and user provisioning, you might have Active Directory in your organization, right? So this system, your ERP, has to integrate with all of them, right? So your HR data is here. So meaning you have to send your HR data to the payroll system so that it can calculate the, you know, the salaries and all that stuff, right? And then for recruiting system, again, once you your interview process is final and the candidates are ready to hire, then you bring in the candidate data into Workday, right, as an employee. Third is the benefit providers here. You send your employee details, whoever is enrolled into specific plans, you send that data to them so that they update their system. Similarly with Active Directory, any employee which is newly hired, terminated, promotion, transfer, 
you send all that information to active directory kind of system right so all these things which are here this data flows these are nothing but your integrations in short integration means either sending data out of work there to another system or consuming the data sent by another system into work there. so it's the flow of data out or in that is what integrations are right so now in our course we will go through the different tools that will be used for sending and consuming data in and out of work there. okay then let me delete this one and then come with a new diagram okay so workday as you know it's a cloud so it's an object based model right it's not a database it's not a sql tables you don't have any tabular kind of data structure in workday cloud you don't have any query language where you can query select star from this table and all that stuff that doesn't happen in workday right so in workday you have two kinds of jobs one is the technical one which is integration consultants and then the functional one which is doing the functional configuration calls the functional consultant you don't have any database administrator kind of job in in workday because that is all handled by workday your tenant and all that stuff are managed by workday right and then this is the term which we call the the url which you will get and you will get the credentials when you connect to that the browser where you see workday that is called a tenant right in other erps we call that as different environments like you have development environment you have testing you have production so in workday we have we call it as implementation tenant then you have sandbox and you have production can make it as the box then it will be easy okay this is one this is sandbox and this is product okay so now implementation right so implementation can be multiple you can have implementation tenant 1 implementation tenant 2 implementation tenant 3 so it's your wish plus how much you have to pay for each one so depends on your organization how many implementation tenant they have now you can repurpose them as you want you can say that okay implementation tenant 1 i will be used for my development implementation tenant 2 i want to use it for my sit or any final testing and third one is this which i can use it for any functional testing and new functional configuration and all that right that is this depends on you so this block is depends on your organization however you want to maintain it right then you have sandbox which is like you can say it's it's a uat one and then the production which is the actual environment where the employees kind of log in right now what happens is every weekend production gets copied over to sandbox every weekend pst time friday evening which is india time saturday morning right so for that period of time around 4 4 hours 4 to 6 hours the tenants go down production don't go down for that much production goes down only for one or two hours 
but then other tenants go down for this and that's for weekly maintenance where workday puts deploy different patches or enhancements and all that stuff so that's the weekly stuff that happens right so every monday you will have sandbox which will be the copy of production till friday right so what will happen is if say there is any any issue in production sandbox is the place where you replicate that okay and you kind of replicate and see and then you do that if it needs a code fix and all that stuff you do it in your implementation you do your unit testing and then you move your code to sandbox and in sandbox you ask for actual user acceptance testing once it is cleared then you move to production you cannot move anything directly from implementation to production that's a, that cannot happen the way the flow will happen is if you have done any change in an integration or say in any configuration the ideal way and the right way is to move it from implementation to sandbox and then from sandbox to production okay yeah uh, one question on the technical side of this so this migrations uh, you uh, are there any migration tools or uh, like you know is online only right so yes that's the best thing about workday you don't have to install anything for that everything is there in your browser okay so for every object which you want to migrate you just go to the related action of it and we'll see it once we post, go in our classes in next week or so you have a tool directly there you click on that and you give your target environment target tenants credentials and all that and then it will move so it's an inbuilt tool that will be provided so but uh, there will not be any planning i mean if suppose say if you want to move like bulk items like uh, maybe mm. there are 15 20 so you cannot do it together or like, do we have to do individually we can do it together okay so that is also there in the um, same same okay. browser right i see we call it as configuration package or we call it as solution where you can add say you want to move 10 integrations together so you can create one package and then move it together okay so it typically okay. like there will be uh, testers in it right usually life cycle in life cycle any applications so here also will have a testing team will be doing that or testing is depends your functional consultants can be your testers or your this thing meaning your own team members can be the tester okay okay not like a typical testing team yeah okay thank you so uh, so it's like completely manual testing here right i uh, see in people's of we have a ptf tool where we use for testing you know so but in workday it's like completely manual test uh sorry can you repeat again uh, so the workday uh, for the testing part it's like completely manual testing we don't have any tool for it right do we have any tool for testing in workday implementation projects or anything we don't have as part of the uh, but it depends on your organization some organization like say when you say testing right testing means there will be some set of test scenarios that you want to execute right now if that can be automated right so there are different options if say you your organization has a team which can do this automation using ui path or any such kind of thing they can develop and they can do because it's, a, it's a just a cloud based tool which is available over internet so you can write script and do that automation uh, from a, a tool workday doesn't provide any such kind of tool but there are other organization which does provide but that's not for implementation testing but that's for different releases that comes in that kind of testing 
but mainly it's done all manual unless you don't okay. have that okay okay and then as part of the major releases right so this is one which i told you that happens every weekend right there is something which happens twice a year which is called work day work day annual release right so that happens two times which is one is called r1 and one is called r2 release one and release two and the way we call it is we put the year in the beginning so 2022 r1 and 2022 r2 right so 2021 r1 happens in march and this happens in september okay so as part of these two releases what workday does is workday provides major new features uh, new integration capabilities or new web services or new functionalities and all that anything which is big comes as part of these releases okay so as part of the support team when you are part of a support then this is one activity which is done twice a year of testing the release so what workday does is there is another tenant which is called sandbox preview okay now what workday does is say this one this new release right now say 2022 r2 march is already done now the next one is september right as part of this workday will release some new things right so workday has a community where it posts different articles that what are the new things that are coming up and all that so to make sure that clients are aware about that what workday does is that in the month of august 5 weeks before the actual release in august workday puts all those features into this tenant into sandbox preview so what it does is it copies production to this and puts the new feature on this one so now you have two tenants one is sandbox preview and one is sandbox this is a copy of production without the new changes new features that will come and this one is with the production data but with the new features so as part of that testing what we do is we execute our processes our integration same thing we do here same thing we do here and then we compare the output so the output should be same if we find any changes then we raise a case with workday that okay as part of this new feature we are finding this thing as which is not up to the mark or not working as expected and then workday helps so that five week window is for testing your functionalities and your business critical processes this was just the high level basic which is part of integrations but is not covered by any other training institute because this is something which is very practical and which you will see and these terminologies you will have to remember never whenever you're talking about workday with anyone never use the term environments always use the word tenants and then implementation sandbox production are the things which you have to talk about never say development tenant or uat tenant uat environment no that's a strict no from there they will judge that you are new in workday cool then thank you guys have a nice day